appendicitis and Ollie Behrman are the two big headlines from today's F1 race. And we're definitely going to talk about just how good Ollie Behrman's debut race was with Carlos Sainz out from his surgery. But Jeddah, at least in my opinion, once again provided us with a reasonably exciting race. Of course, Max Verstappen was going to win, but we all know he has got the fastest car and is just driving on another level. The gap was definitely smaller between him and Perez, which I think is an improvement. Something I personally found really interesting about this race is just how close all of the cars actually are at the moment. I mean, sure, the Red Bulls definitely have that advantage over the rest of the grid, and Charles Leclerc seemed to be in a comfortable little window of his own, but McLaren, Mercedes, and Aston Martin all looked really close together, and it was genuinely super exciting to watch, with Oli Behrman in the mix too, which, like I said, we're gonna get to him. The other big story of this race was Kevin Magnussen, and although near the start of the race he was trying to do his best Esteban Ocon impression, by somehow gathering 20 seconds worth of time penalties, he would use this to his advantage in the end and back up the pack enough so that his teammate Nico Hulkenberg could secure crucial points for Haas. But saying that, Haas didn't even look that slow. In fact, they looked like both drivers were running at a reasonable pace, and it was only Magnussen's penalty that set them back a bit. In terms of the other backmarker slash lower midfield cars, Williams and RB were definitely backed up by Magnussen and held up from that. But certainly Sauber and Ricardo seemed to throw away their opportunities. I'm not sure what happened to Bottas, he just disappeared. But unfortunately for Guan Yu Zhou, his race was over when Sauber botched his pit stop. And Daniel Ricciardo, despite being on the tail end of the Magnussen train, would then near the end of the race have an uncharacteristic spin, with the first couple rounds really not going Ricciardo's way. We also need to talk about Aston Martin, and despite Alonso putting in an absolutely incredible drive, being able to hold off George Russell just about at the end, and even not that far off Piastri, his teammate decided he wanted to get in the action of breaking track limits, but forgot not to do it where the wall is, and ended up smashing his car into the barriers. This does mark Stroll with two out of two DNFs in the last two Saudi Arabian Grand Prix, albeit last time to an engine issue, and this time to a skill issue. But let's get on to the big news of today. Oli Behrman, what a fantastic job he did on his debut. He started in 11th, barely missing out on Q3, and right from the get-go, he looked aggressive and confident. Obviously, being aggressive and confident is all well and good until you slam it into the wall. But Oli Behrman also looked completely in control of his car, with his pace being strong to those around him and even being able to hold up under the pressure of Lando and Lewis attacking him. And this has massive ramifications for the rest of the F1 world. It's no doubt now that Behrman has likely secured himself a drive for next year, albeit not at Ferrari with them locking their lineup up already, but potentially with Haas who we already know he's going to be doing six testing sessions for this year. This also means anyone able to challenge Behrman or match his pace in F2 will become a likely candidate for an F1 drive. And it really does open a lot of opportunities considering this is already meant to be a very silly, silly season. Thanks is meant to be back in Australia. We won't see any more of Behrman unless Charles Leclerc decides he's going to have a mental breakdown when Ferrari box him for Inters in the desert. But other than that, it was overall a pretty good race. I made a short recently saying that I reckoned the teams would be a lot closer to Max this race, and they were, albeit Max still walked away with it, but at least Lando Norris got to lead for a few laps. And if you want more Formula 1 content, make sure to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later. Goodbye!